Hello friends, welcome back to PS Desire. In this step by step tutorial, you will learn how to create a creepy text effect using Photoshop. You can use it in any of your projects, movie posters or even in photo manipulations. This tutorial includes detailed instructions on adding a gradient overlay, applying layer styles, adding text and texture effects to the background. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First open the Photoshop. Once Photoshop has loaded, you can create a new document by selecting new file. Alternatively, you can also use the shortcut Ctrl plus N for Windows or Command plus N for Mac users. In the new document dialog box that appears, set the size of the document to 850 pixels by 600 pixels by typing in these values in the width and height fields respectively. You can also set the resolution of the document which determines the quality of the image. For most purposes, a resolution of 72 pixels per inch is sufficient. Additionally, you can choose to set the color mode of the document. For this tutorial, we will be using the default RGB color mode, which is suitable for digital images and screens. Then set the background color to white by clicking on the small color swatch next to background contents and selecting the white color option. Now click the create button to generate it. You should now see a blank canvas with a white background color. It is ready for you to start working on our creepy text effect. Next duplicate the background layer by pressing Ctrl plus J or Command plus J. This will create a new layer above the original layer. After you have duplicated the layer, it's time to add a gradient overlay to it. To do this, the layer it's time to add a gradient overlay to it to do this select a duplicate layer and go to layer styles once you are in layer styles dialog box click on gradient overlay from the list of options on the left hand side this will bring up the gradient editor window to set the gradient colors click on the gradient preview box to open the gradient editor in the gradient editor window you will see a series of color stops along a color bar Double click on the left hand color stop to open the color picker. In the color picker, set the color to blue color. RGB values 26, 28 and 73. Click OK to apply the color. Next double click on the right hand color stop to open the color picker. In the color picker, set the color to reddish color. Set the RGB values to 31. 17 and 21. In the gradient overlay options, choose the radial style, set the angle to 90 degrees and the size to 130. Set the method to classic, the blend mode to normal and the opacity to 100%. Once you have set all the options, click OK to apply the gradient overlay to the layer. Next, select the type tool from the toolbar on the left or press the T key on your keyboard. Click on the canvas where you want to place the text and enter creepy using the green fuzz font which you can select from the font drop down in the options bar. Now change the font size to 250 pixels. Now with move tool align the text to the center. Center the text both horizontally and vertically. Select the text layer and then reduce the fill opacity to 0% using the opacity slider in the layers panel on the right. This will make the text transparent leaving only the layer styles visible. Now duplicate the text layer twice and hide the top two layers. You can select the first layer and apply the following layer styles to enhance its appearance. Firstly, add an outer glow effect to the text. To do this, go to layer styles and select outer glow. Then choose the color pink, RGB values 215, 72, 146. From the color picker, set the blend mode to hard light and opacity to 80%. Next, you can adjust the elements of the outer glow. Set the technique to softer, spread 0% and size 10 pixels. This will create a soft pink glow around the text. 
to further refine the outer glow effect set the quality range to 50% and the quality contour to linear this will make the glow look more natural and blend well with the texture by applying these layer styles the first text layer will have a vibrant pink glow around it adding depth and dimensions to the design after applying the outer glow to the first text layer you can now move on to applying the inner glow click on linear glow and choose the color sky blue rgb values 25 158 186 set the blend mode to hard light and the opacity to 60% set the element to technic softer source edge choke 0% and size 5 pixels set the quality range to 50% the inner glow effect creates a soft blue halo around the text that complements the pink outer glow now select bevel and emboss choose the style linear bevel which will give the text a 3d effect set the technique to smooth depth to 100% and direction to up adjust the size to 24 pixels and set the soften to 0 pixel now set the shading angle to minus 150 degrees and altitude to 58 degrees this will create a shadow effect on one side of the text now set the glass contour to linear and check anti-aliased to make it just smoother for the highlight mode choose the color pink RGB values 255 0 156 and change blending to linear light adjust the opacity to 50% to make it less intense for the shadow mode choose the color light sky blue 161 254-255 and change blending to vivid light adjust the opacity to 50% as well now turn on contour and select the half round preset this will create a slight curve on the edges of the text finally set the range to 50% to adjust the depth of the bevel effect click ok to apply the changes to the layer styles Now select the second text layer and apply the following layer styles. Click on outer glow in the layer styles dialog box. Choose the color sky blue. RGB values 0, 192255 and keep all other settings or same as the first text layer. This will create a glowing effect around the text that blends with the background. Next, click on inner glow in the layer style dialog box. Choose the color pink. RGB values 207, 28, 104 and keep all other settings the same as the first text layer. This will create a soft pink glow that emanates from the inside of the text. Now go to bevel and emboss keep all the settings the same as the first text layer. But change the highlight color to blue RGB 0, 0174255. and the shadow color to pink 248101201 change the angle to 30 degree and the altitude to 48 degrees now go to contour and select gaussian preset now set the range to 50% click ok to apply the changes to the layer styles now select the third text layer Open layer styles again. This time only select bevels and emboss. First change the highlight color to sky blue. RGB values 53, 233, 240. And change the blend mode to vivid light. And set the opacity to 70%. Next change the shadow color to yellow. RGB values 248, 246, 101. Change the blending mode to vivid light and set the opacity to 15%. After that, adjust the size to 43 pixels, shading angle to 50 degrees. 
and altitude to 48 degree. You can now go to the contour section and select the rounded steps preset with the range of 50%. Next open the texture panel and set the pattern. Choose the desired pattern for your design. Scale it to 100% and depth to 100%. Click the link with layer options. Finally click OK to apply the changes. Finally to add some vignetting effect to the edges of the image you can add a gradient fill layer. Go to adjustments, add the gradient fill. In the gradient editor, select the gradient that goes from grey to black. and set the style to radial, set the angle to 90 degree and the scale to 200% and finally change the blend mode of the gradient layer to soft light. You can add some textures to the background to give it a bit more character. Once you have selected a texture, place it on the canvas behind the text layers. To blend the texture with the rest of the image, change the blending mode of the texture layer to color dodge. This will help the texture blend in with the colors of the text effect. Next you can further enhance the overall look of the image by adding some adjustments to the levels of the image. To do this go to adjustments panel and select levels. Drag the shadow slider to the right and move the highlight slider to the left. This will help to bring out more details in the image and give it a more vibrant look. And that's it, your creepy text effect is ready. You can now use it in any of your projects, movie posters or even in photo manipulations. To customize it for your specific needs, simply open the layer styles and change the colors to match your projects. Thank you for your interest in this tutorial. If you would like to download the PSD file and get access to other exclusive content, you can become a Patreon on my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also become a channel member to gain access to the tutorials, final PSD files. Don't miss out this opportunity to enhance your design skills and take your projects to the next level. And don't forget to subscribe to our PSD Design YouTube channel for more Photoshop tips, tricks and tutorials. And hit the bell icon for notifications. Please like, share this video with friends. Thank you for watching and I will see you in our next video. Take care. Happy editing.